You've looked at every game yeah. that you have taken. So you, what have they done better? What they do better than the year? What they um, do better? I think these last three games, you know, they, they realized that, um, you know, they, they really wanted this bowl, and they um, figured out what they were doing, uh, executed a lot on offense and defense. I don't know much about their defense, but I know they've executed a lot on offense, and um, they've just really finished these last few games out. Is Robert Barr, like, that's, that's kind of a quarterback that people know just because of this wild story of, of being a super going to Miami and then winding up at Purdue. Is that a name that when I say that, you're even before you guys start scouting, you're like, oh, yeah, I remember that guy? Uh, no, okay. I mean, before <laughs> before we played Purdue, you know, I really didn't know much about their players, but, okay. um, you know, he's a great quarterback. And um, yeah, that's one of the things about Purdue is that they've got multiple quarterbacks that can play. And, uh, you know, you, that's, that's one of the harder things on a defense is that you have to know what every quarterback can do and um, their strengths and weaknesses and how we can uh, defend against them. But the way the defense ended the season, I know that's not what you guys wanted. Is this, I guess, how uh, you know, excited or ready are you to get, to get out of the field? Well, I think everybody, uh, especially defensively, are really excited to get out there and play one last game just to prove you know, um, we're a good defense and um, you know, we're ready to, to show, the, uh, show the nation one last time that we can play. You talked about this team enjoying the grind. I, I would think it's like last year with the Fiesta Bowl, motivation would be sky high. Do you have to kind of self-motivate yourself a little bit more, a little bit differently than? Um, you know, year? for some people maybe, but um, you know, a, a lot of teams don't get the opportunity to play in the bowl, and I think that's what a, a ton of the guys on the team realize is that you know we get opportunity to play in the bowl. We get opportunity to spend a few more weeks here with each other, have fun, uh, get to play football. You know, the sport we love. So. You know, it's it's not hard to get motivated, especially when you got beautiful weather, uh, good team, and uh, one more opportunity. To play. What's your guys' schedule as far as do you guys get any time off for Christmas or anything like that, or is it just straight through until you guys go down to Dallas? Um, I think we have one, our last practice on the 23rd, and then we report back on the 27th, and I think we might have practice that day. So I mean, we we're all excited to get to go home and spend some time with the family, and then uh, head back out. I mean, uh, just down the road for me to Dallas to to play. So I mean. It, it's a pretty good schedule. So, you got any big plans with the family for, for Christmas or anything like that? Uh, What's your tradition? The, the usual, uh, <laughs> uh, we, we always go eat Chinese food and see a movie on Christmas Eve. So, okay. I mean, I'm sure we'll stick to that plan. And uh, everyone, everyone, all the brothers and sisters will be home. So, I mean, it'll be a lot of fun. And how cool is that you mentioned that, you know, you're, you're by Pennsylvania just to, to play in the Cotton Bowl. Um, I'm sure that's kind of just that's such a historic oh, yeah. stadium. So what do you think? Cool I mean, I've, I've always wanted to. I've been down to the fair. You know, I, I've never gotten to you know, play in the Cotton Bowl. So I'm really excited to get to play there. It's a huge stadium, a lot of history. So um, I never thought I'd get to because I'm not, I didn't go to Texas or OU, but I'm, I'm very excited to get to play there. Broderick and Justin played last year. Is that, that, that surprised you, or is that tough when you watch teammates just you know, not, not performing up to their own standards and that kind of thing? Um, no, I mean, Broderick and, and, and um, I mean, BB and, and Jay Gill are both excellent players. And um, the thing about them is, is if they make a mistake, you know, you can you, you really see it. But when I make a mistake, you know, it's usually D Lo or those two guys that make up for me. So it's not like, you know, I'm. You know, my, my mistakes are as highlighted. So, um, you know, I, it, it, it's hard for them sometimes when, when you get um, the attention, but, you know, everybody makes mistakes. They've, they've done no worse than anybody else in the defense. So, you know, it, it's got to be tough sometimes.